good morning. We are we 19 weeks out. Oh shit, I think we're 19 weeks out. We are 19 weeks out. Um, last week was not so good. Um, also, my screen's cracked, which is why the light's reflecting. Um, last week wasn't so good. I had a huge freak out. So we went out to up to 2,200 calories for the last two weeks. First week was okay. Um, second week, my weight started to gain, which is actually probably due to my cycle. We've now been on prep for five weeks. Um, and yeah, in fact, I know it's due to my cycle because we've been on prep for five weeks and this is in relation to last month when it went up. Um, but I freaked out over it. Um, and I got my first step off from my coach. I've worked with Fuzz now for two years um, and he's had to put me in my place since a bit before, just kind of remind me what my goals are. But because we've never been doing prep, I've never been told off. It didn't go down so well that I had a little hiss of it. It wasn't... Yeah, anyway. I can, I can be a little bit sensitive when it comes to food and he's very, very patient with me. Um, but I guess at the moment, there's going to be less time for patience and there's got to be a boundary set. So if I'm going to be doing this prep, I need to know that he's not babysitting. <laughs> So, anyway, um, listen to that. Do my workout properly now. Steps I probably need to keep a closer eye on. Um, and in terms of tracking my food, um, he's, as he said, not a mind reader, so I need to make sure that I write that on my check in sheet. Um, but we're doing upper day today. Um, and uh, I might actually do a lower day too and try and catch up on the. So, at the moment, start and work out four then do one two three just because a few weeks ago um I ended up doing one on a monday instead of a sunday um so i might just do two today so i can catch up um, but yeah um i'm gonna do my upper workout i'm gonna film that for you and then i'll give you a little bit of a lowdown on last week and why i felt like it went wrong and then i'll show you some of the food that i've got prepped for this week i have got my 2000 calories back just to kind of increase motivation a little bit. I think when I'm on maintenance calories, I find it harder to track. Because um, I don't feel like I've got gold. So he has adjusted that for me. Um, he hit the nail on the head when he said that. So yeah, we're going to um, do our upper day and I will catch up with you.
Today is new car day. So, I was driving a Tesla um, through work. Didn't like it very much. Um, and then they changed her insurance policy anyway to be for over 30s only. And the cost was getting ridiculous. So, I have recently been borrowing this lovely Mercedes um, from my partner. Um, while I wait for my new car, which is now arriving this morning. I'm just waiting for my mum to pick me up. We're going to go and get it. It is a Defender 90, which I am so excited about. I didn't think that I'd end up getting a Defender this year, um, but it was on the list of goals. But yeah, so new car day is always exciting and it's new hair day tomorrow. Life's feeling pretty good. I sorted out a bunch of stuff at work in the business yesterday um and got a really really good workout in which you'll have just seen gonna be going again i won't be going for a workout today because we've got swimming with the children swimming lessons but we will play tennis and and do lots of bloody things like that and i will be working out again tomorrow and boxing tomorrow and then working out again friday so I have just got a coffee. Um, I'm just waiting for my my defender to arrive. Um, just taking it for a quick clean. So it's about 10 minutes away now. It is currently 9.17. Should be arriving at 9.30. I'm just walking around to get some steps in while I wait because the moment steps are as part of my plan. So yeah, super excited. I'll film it when it arrives. It's here. You don't like the yeah. <laughs> Right, put your seatbelts on. We are at the gym. It is Friday. It is Friday of 19 weeks out, which means we are basically 18 weeks and two days out now. Um, some big exciting changes um, I'll just show you this week we have dropped quite a significant amount of weight um, so in total now, um, in four weeks, we're five pounds down. Um, but I had gone back up. Um, so this week I had gone back up pretty much almost to my starting weight, which would have been that's the reason for my meltdown last week. But it was just because of um, water retention due to my time of the month. But yeah, all of a sudden, all gone. Uh, and we are feeling really good. Um, a little bit nervous because my uh, my dumbbell incline press has gone up to 14 kg. So we'll see how we do with that. But yeah, I'm going to do my my upper day, and I will show you a little bit of that. Um, I'm also going to put in. In fact, I might put in my lower day because I never show you guys that. It's just harder for me to film. Um, but yeah. Say what you 
I thought I'd just take this chance um, to explain a little bit about what went wrong last week and um, why I was panicking. To be honest, I this, the short of it is I wasn't following all of my steps perfectly. I was a little bit lax because I had higher calories. Um, and to be honest, the point of my cycle was probably such that I just had a little bit of a meltdown. Um, but the positive side is because my coach um, was very firm with me, um, and had some words. What I did do is I jumped really back on it and um, really quite hard. Um, so once all of the bloating and the water weight disappeared, actually I think I got the best results that I could have done. Um, and it's really just suddenly shown. So uh, let me point out that once I, I say I wasn't doing all my steps, I, I was ticking every box, but it was kind of half-hearted. So like my calories, um, I was hitting my calories, but maybe not as close to my macros as I should have been. Um, I had a couple of drinks, I'd maybe be 200 steps under. And to be honest, just my attitude wasn't great with it. But turning that around this week, my attitude was great with it. I, I've swapped to doing my steps on the treadmill um, before my workouts. And what that's done is, because I have to hold my phone, because I don't wear a watch, I'm a nightmare for it, so I don't wear a tra step tracker. Um, I have to hold my watch while I'm on uh, my phone while I'm on the treadmill in order to, for it to count my steps. So I'm doing my check-ins daily on the treadmill while I'm doing my cardio. I I'm not very good at just doing the cardio with nothing on, nothing to watch, nothing to do. So I reply to my emails, I text clients, I, I do things like that. But the time goes faster because um, I get bored. It's not that I can't do the cardio or do the steps. It's just that I get bored. Um, so swapping to do that and doing my check-in first while I'm doing my, my steps has really, really made me reflect on what I'm doing every day, re-motivate me every day, make me plan out my food first thing in the morning. The other thing that I've stopped doing is I've stopped eating as soon as I get up. So I'm waiting until I've done my cardio, um, which works better with my blood sugars. If I eat first thing in the morning, specifically if I eat carbs, um, I'm hungry all day and I will just eat. Whereas if I don't eat until after I've done my workout and I just have a protein source, um, which does make it difficult to get in all my carbs that I've got at the moment, but that will change. Um, but then I'm not as hungry all day. So even on 2,200 calories, if I had carbs in the morning, I could eat like a monster and I could eat 2,700, 3,000 calories. So that small change, checking in every day while I'm doing my steps, um, I can, I genuinely feel like 2,000 calories, which is what I'm on at the moment, and 10,000 steps is a beautiful point for me. I am losing weight, like at a beautiful rate, noticeable enough for me, not hard enough that I'm losing energy. Um, it, it's just a nice combination for me, a combination that most people feel they, a weight loss rate that most people feel they'd have to be at 1200 calories for. Like, you have no idea how little you move when you're at 1200 calories. And I may be at that point towards the end of prep, like when we, when we have nothing left. I, I don't know where we're gonna go with this. I'm just, I'm letting him worry about it, trying not to worry. I actually wasn't gonna weigh myself today. Um, I, I normally weigh every day, but I've been a higher weight because of my time of the month and I didn't know at what point that would drop. I always get a sudden drop. So I thought I'll just not weigh myself for a few few days um, and kind of see, see where we're at then. Um, but actually, I was at the gym and there's the body tracks thing and I hadn't weighed yesterday. So I just decided to weigh myself because I was looking good. Um, and it was an instant, it was like three kilogram drop two and a half, something like that. Um, so, you know, it, it's just a really, really big point. Don't focus on um, your your weight because I'd only lost the two kilogram because we were at the beginning of prep. I'd only lost the two kilogram and then it went all back on, but it was all just water because of my time of the month. Definitely track cycle by cycle. Um, 
what I'm doing is week one, two, three, four, five, because I have long cycles, um, cycle one, cycle two, and then doing the average weight of the week and comparing them. And it's working really well, um, making a big difference to how I see it. So that's kind of all that happened. It felt like a really big drama to me. I think everything's exaggerated during prep because time really does fly. I can't believe it's already been six weeks that we've been on prep. So when all of a sudden my six weeks of work seemed to have disappeared, like to me, I was like, oh my God, what has just happened? Major meltdown. Now I've gone into this with only 19 weeks when we were supposed to have 25, but everything that I've already done is gone. Now that wasn't the case. So Faz has been really patient with me this week and reminded me not to worry about the the way like I write down what I'm doing in relation to what he's told me to do um, so that he can see exactly what I've actually done and he will make adjustments based off of that so if I'm not able to stick to the calories or something that that uh, I like the 2200 that I was on I think to be honest if it wasn't for my mental reaction he'd have kept me on that because he hadn't got enough data yet but he saw my reaction to it and he's changed it um, so so yeah, I think we're in a good place. I think he's probably gonna keep me at 2,000 and 10,000 steps for quite a while until we plateau in weight. I think I'll probably be here for, for another month. I could be wrong, but I, I think we're definitely not gonna start going into these super low calories now. Not while I'm losing weight and why, why would we? Like at the moment I'm still increasing my lifting because we're at high calories. Um, so I'm getting stronger getting stronger week on week i mean some of it it's a rep here and a rep there it's not like adding 10 kilograms at once i've been lifting now for like two years so that that's not something that's going to going to happen um but yeah so i think that's probably going to be all for this week um i have completed my workouts now for this week so i'm not in the gym again every workout was hard and good this time around um i might be going into the gym just to get my steps in but other than that um i probably try i'm going out for a snow walk tomorrow with the kids so um that will hit my steps and yeah it's been a good week overall um ready for 18 weeks out it's getting a little bit scary like the weeks really have flown I feel like before I know it, it will be 15 weeks out and more than 10 weeks completed. And where do we go from there? We'll see. But yeah, I feel like I'm in a really good position actually. Like looking at my physique this morning, I need to pose more. I do need to do that. I need to get on posing every single day. Um, I'm posing maybe twice a week at the moment and I'm not good at it. It's not something that comes naturally to me. So I need to be posing every day. Um, but looking at my actual physique, and go I know you shouldn't compare it to where others are at 19 weeks out. There's actually not that many people that start at 19 weeks out. But even comparing it to some people that have started at 16 weeks out, I think I'm in a, I'm definitely in a good muscle mass position, and I think I'm in a fairly, fairly good position weight-wise. Like I'm heavy, size-wise, I feel like I'm in a really good position. Um, they, they don't get me wrong there's still fat to be lost but i did my body tracks thing this morning 58 uh sorry 65.8 kilograms um now the body tracks thing bear this in mind this is not accurate i'm not 16 percent body fat at all i have got higher body fat than that but it says 16 percent body fat which is about a percent loss from what it has previously said um i think i probably sit at around 20 percent body fat um, at the moment and I will be aiming for like 16, 17% I guess uh, I don't need to worry about that Faz will just adjust things to what I need I actually react really well to carbs which is a really good thing um, I react badly to my time of the month so I don't tend to bloat from carbs I bloat from my time of the month which is a good thing in a way every woman reacts to their time of the month so that can't be helped but some women really react badly to carbs. Hopefully that's not gonna change as I um, 
change too much as I kind of shred down. But only time will tell. The thing is, is right now, it's in the first week where I, I've been like excited about what my body is doing. Um, that sudden drop and that sudden change as well in how I look. And I know this is just the beginning. So like, I'm majorly excited. Um, really, really excited. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna look fit. I'm also a little bit scared and I wanted to talk about this because I've never heard anybody else talk about it. So I did just want to want to talk about it. Is this complete conundrum between wanting to compete and feeling so natural in like the progression and, and where my how my body's looking as I get better, but also looking at some some of now this is going to sound awful, but looking at some of the people on stage and thinking, I don't want to look like that. Um, and I think a lot of it is just stage aesthetics. Um, so I think a lot of it is just down to the tan, the makeup, and it just not being very me. But also I think some people take it a little bit far and obviously that's a personal choice but for me what I'm worried about is ending up looking like that and kind of not realizing that that's what I'm doing um I'm very very conscious of how I look um I I've lost six stone um in case people weren't aware of that I was a very big girl um so yeah I've lost actually over six stone and by the time I'm at my stage weight I'm going to have lost around seven seven stone maybe a bit more um I've never in fact, yeah, it will be more because I've lost, yeah. So it'll be about seven and a half stone, if not closer to eight, um, which is an extreme amount of weight and people never believe me because I'm actually fairly toned and like I don't have excess skin, but the way that I did it, I mean, I mean, literally seven, eight years of this, Not, it's not like I, I lost my weight in two years. My weight loss has been so gradual that it's, you know, I've done it the right way, but the way that nobody wants to do it. And yeah, so for me, this is a, this is a big thing to take my body almost to the other extreme that I'm not, you know, I would, I definitely wouldn't stay in body uh, there are some people that say that they, they've hated reversing afterwards but actually where I am now maybe maybe one or two kilogram leaner would be like my ideal body like I don't want to be completely shredded on a long-term basis I don't actually like the look and and there are gonna be there are gonna be some women that maintain that physique that, that don't like me for saying that it's not it's not healthy to stay like that it's not a look that you should aspire to be looking like regularly what I am enjoying is the fact that I already know I don't want to look like that on a long-term basis I like how I'm looking now and will look in the next kind of say same month maybe two months like before I get to that point where it's unsustainable I'm probably now about a two a kilogram two kilogram off of the absolutely perfect lean athletic physique for me so but it's fun that that's part of my journey and that I'm also going to figure out where I want to be when reversing I I will have a favorite point and I'll know where I want to reverse diet to. So yeah, if there are girls out there that are in prep, that are nervous about what, how they're gonna look on stage, not because of not looking that good, but because of looking like that. I, like, I'm nervous of how I am going to feel about myself when I look the way that I should look on stage and that I will look on stage. But that's okay. I've never heard anyone talk about that, but to me I, I think that there will be a lot of women that want to do this challenge and and want to do this thing but don't necessarily like the look 
for a long term thing but it's not a long term thing and that's what I I'm remembering like this is just a, a journey for me and something that I want to achieve and then I will be then then I'll be finding my path to where I actually want to be sitting and where I want to to end up and I'm really really enjoying that view that that the competition isn't the end of this prep but that after that I have the the joy of reversing back to the point that I discovered along this this prep as the place that I am most confident and comfortable in my body um, so I envisage probably another two to three months of kind of a, a prep journey after my competition to get to where I think my body is at its peak so I'm excited for that and I'm excited about how my views are changing on it and yeah as somebody that's previously really struggled with um, eating and um, body dysmorphia it, it's a big thing to do a competition so yeah I think I've probably waffled on for long enough now um, that's the overview of why eight, uh, week 20 went a little bit wrong what we've done in week 19 to reverse that where my head is on um, kind of the whole mental side of competing and basically just a general overview of where we're at and I think we're in a really good place so I'm excited I'm really excited for the next two weeks because I feel like that's going to be really really big changes to my body um, and then I think we'll probably plateau for a little while um, while everything stays the same and it won't be until Faz feels we've pl plateaued for a little while that we make some changes so I'm excited that's it for this week um, and I will catch you all when we are 18 weeks out <laughs>